Hey everyone, this is Jom from Civil Center and welcome to our channel. As we know, Civil Center is continuously working with a vision to guide civil engineering students and professionals. And for that, we have started this series in Tech Class Talk Shows where we are learning how we can prepare the drawing and modify them. So we have modified the drawing for the 3D view. Okay, and now we are going to work on a drawing of a particular view. So for what we have to do, first of all, we will close this drawing and then we will go for a particular grid line and for that we will have to go for the particular view so we will have to go to view list and over here you can see we have different views okay so this is grid one and then go for grid a so let's say grid a so this is grid a now likely we will just go ahead and check out all the grids over here so let's open the grid one so this is our grid A and uh, click on OK. Then control V. Similarly, go for grid one. Then control P. I'm just switching the view. So this is the front view that we are talking about. OK, so this is grid one over here. Now we'll have to just uh, modify a little bit over here. So what I have to do, you can see I have different labels over here. I will have to just uh, get rid of all the extra labels that are present over here so that we can get a clear drawing. Okay, so for that what I'm going to do, I'm just going to modify this grid line. Okay, so first of all, double click on the grid line and you can see you will get uh, the option of modifying the grid lines. So I have to modify it in this Z axis. Okay because this is the front view so i will have to modify it in the same manner okay so i will just get rid of all these views okay so for that what i'm going to do i'm just going to open a text file over here so that is the notepad okay and i will keep it safe so that when i have to come back over here then i don't have to face any kind of problem so I will just cut this and then paste it over here so that when my work is done then I can get back all of it okay so I'm just cutting it and pasting it okay now I'm just going to click on modify and you can see the grid lines have been modified now this is the a uh, grid line for which I am going to generate the drawing. So how to do that? I will have to simply right click over here and then we will have to click on create general arrangement drawing for grid one. Okay, so let's create it and I have already selected the option of open drawing. So it will automatically open the drawing once it is created. So you can see here we have our drawing. Okay, so this is the drawing that I was looking for and what are the different things that are mentioned in it so you can see we have the levels okay so levels are already there on the left and the top okay so I can simply like modify this one and to modify that what you can do I will just click on this grid and you can see a dialog box will open up and that will help me to modify my grid line okay so let's bring it over here and drag this over here so that I can see the changes whatever I am making over here so I'll go to the grid and you can see I have to just check these boxes and click on modify and this will be modified so you can see now we have the levels all around okay so how I have done this for that you can just watch my previous videos and it will help you out now you can see we have our don't have any kind of labels over here so i can just go for the part mark okay and then i can add the profiles in there okay so i'm just going to double click on it and click on modify and you will see the profiles will automatically appear over here okay so if you want to add the material then you can also do that now uh we will just come to this one of modifying this but first of all let's uh, start with the profile of a 
particular member so suppose i have selected this member and then i'm just going with the drawing annotation dimensioning and the views now click on add part mark so add mark view using view properties okay and you can see the part mark has been added over here now what are the different things that are being shown over here the assembly position is being shown over here and the profile is being shown over here now if you want to just change that okay then you can add the material and remove the assembly position okay so for that click on the assembly position and click on remove and click on modify and you can see you can see the material and the position so you can see the steel is undefined over here so it is shown in a different color that the steel is undefined so i have not defined this steel so if you want then you can simply define that steel and come over here and click on modify similarly if i want to add the mark for this particular drawing okay so i can again, again click on this one and you can see this and i can just remove the undesired things and click on modify then i can also place it at some position wherever it is clearly visible okay now let's close now you can see we have another thing over here so i have to just click on it then right click and click on add mark using view properties and you can see the property is visible for this one now okay so i can again modify this by doing it like this so you can see i have already shown the properties of all the things that are mentioned over here or that are being used over here okay same i can do for this haunch okay like do this add the profile for that double click remove the assembly position just by clicking over here click on modify okay then we can also modify the where i have to place this okay i want to place it like this then i can do it like this okay i will also show you different ways of placing it okay like you can just go like this and it will go into a square format so there are different ways of doing this now close it and come over here to this haunch okay so for that just click on right click over here then using view properties and you can now modify this and you can see i have to just place it in this manner and click on okay then the same things can be copied over here also so you can also copy the whole thing okay but it's better to show it on the each and every end of it okay so this is the profile for the beam that has been uh, set next to this one so i'm just going to change it also let's uh, name it profile remove this okay so whatever the different profiles we have added we have to just mark that over here and we can always change the position whenever we th feel like doing that okay so we can simply change the positions also now if i want to just go ahead and add the profile name to this then i can simply mark it like this i will have to just double click over here remove the assembly position if you want to add the material then you can also do that now click on modify 
if you want to remove the material and just add the class then you can also do that you can see the class and the material will be added over here but i don't want to go with all these things so i will just uh, keep the profile over here and click on modify okay now this thing can also be placed anywhere we want like suppose i want to keep it in the middle somewhere in the middle okay so i can keep it like this also now i'm going to close it now we can add the same thing for this one also and you can just change each and everything that is not required like the position is not required over here so i can simply get rid of the position thing remove it modify it so eight pieces 41 t16 and this is the section center to center distance all the things are visible over here so you can do the marking for the reinforcement also and it is quite placed uh, like in a good manner so i'm not going to play with this okay but uh, yeah one i can do one more thing over here so i'm just going to general and over here i will just uh, make it an arrow okay so that it can be clearly visible okay so arrow can be added over here that is the one thing that we can do okay now click on modify and okay now you can see we have the different dimensions that are added over here and how to modify the dimensions for that we will also discuss in some other video lesson okay now i can just select it copy it and then paste it okay so that's not working so that's not a thing not worry about that you can simply go ahead and add the mark over here in the same manner okay we can just get rid of the position and uh, i can then change the arrow to this one click on modify i'm not getting the arrow yet yeah now it's done let's add the mark for this one also so let's remove the position so this may uh, seem to you like okay this is taking a lot of time but don't worry about it like everything will be worth it okay now you can simply just bring it over here or somewhere over here and you can just move this thing at some other place like this is a good place for this and this can be now changed to this place okay So now the clarity is better. So we can see like we have already marked each and everything that has been used over here except these. Okay. So these bolts even this can be like uh, given a particular name and everything like but first of all let's uh, quickly add the marks for this one. bring it down get rid of the assembly position okay now do the same for this i can also select the whole member and uh, add the names to the everything but uh, that will make my uh, like drawing clumsy that's why i'm not going with that okay so that's must be clear 
Now, guys, if you want to go for the professional training of Tekla structures, you will find the link on the uh, screen. Uh, sorry, the number is there on the screen. You can just uh, go ahead and uh, WhatsApp or call on that number, and uh, you will be able to talk with me directly. So you can just uh, reach out to me using that number. Okay. So if anyone who is interested, he can just go with that. Okay. Now the bold and other things can also be shown from here. Okay. But now, for now, I will just uh, do what two more things. Like I will simply click on this and make the arrow visible so that it can have a clear view of everything. Same I can do with this one. The arrow should be clearly visible. Yeah. So that where it is pointing, that must be clear to all of the persons. Now we know that each and every where I'm using the same thing. So I don't have to specify each and every like a particular member because we have already modified a lot of things over here. Okay. So guys, you can see now this drawing is good to go and uh, we can start working on this drawing and we can start uh, for the manufacturing using this drawing. Okay. So that can easily be done. And if you have any kind of question, you can simply go in the comment section and ask that if you don't have any question, but you want to go for the uh, like professional training, then you can also reach out to me in the on the WhatsApp number that is given on the screen. Till then, take care. Bye bye. Thank you.